10 signs that your body is very stressed. We all occasionally feel a little under the weather, but if there's something that has been constantly bothering you for some time, you should take it as a warning of more serious health concerns that could be a result of too much stress in your life. To educate you a bit more on this topic, Brightside has chosen a few of the most common symptoms that show your body is being badly affected by stress. Better safe than sorry, right? Number 10. Skin Diseases Skin diseases can be caused by a lot of things, and one of the major factors is simply stress. Psoriasis, acne, eczema, that's not even the entire list of skin problems you can end up with. And it's no surprise, a lot of nerve endings are connected to the skin, so if your nerves are rattled on the inside, you could see some symptoms on the outside. In a scientific study among students, it was proven that there's a direct correlation between a high level of psychological stress and dermatological problems. An experiment with mice came to the same conclusion. The animals that lived in a more stressful environment were more prone to skin infections. So all those cheesy motivational sayings are actually true. You're prettiest when you're happy. Number 9. Fluctuating weight. Have you ever struggled to get your weight under control with diet and exercise? It's a real downer when your hard work doesn't pay off, isn't it? That's because some really intense experiences can make you gain unwanted extra pounds. Mystery solved! As it turns out, constantly being under stress increases the production of the hormone known as cortisol, which is responsible for stabilizing not only the breakdown of fats and carbohydrates, but also healthy blood sugar levels. If a person has too much of the hormone, they'll eat more, their body will produce less testosterone, and as a result, they'll burn fewer calories. And this all, unfortunately, will make you gain weight. This works the other way around, too. Sometimes stress and anxiety cause people to lose weight, thanks to increased levels of adrenaline in the blood. Adrenaline speeds up metabolism and slows down the storage of fats. So if you notice that your weight is either going up or down unexpectedly or not moving at all despite your efforts to change it, try to work on your emotional state too. It's just as important. Number 8. Recurrent Colds How can stress be connected to something like the flu? We catch a cold because of cold weather, right? Well, it's actually not that simple. As we said before, stress causes the production of cortisol, which can suppress inflammation. However, if a person is experiencing chronic stress, the immune system builds a tolerance to cortisol, which results in more serious inflammation. That's the moment when your body is at a higher risk of getting a cold. In this situation, cold weather works only as a trigger for a body with a weakened immune system. If you get sick often, take some time to analyze your life and think about what worries you. If it's possible, try to eliminate this. It could help. Number 7. Gastrointestinal Disorders There's scientific proof that stress can have a negative effect on the gastrointestinal tract. Some animal studies have confirmed the theory that hypersensitivity and anxiety can significantly delay the stomach's emptying process, which may lead to a whole bunch of other not-so-pleasant problems. That's also one of the possible reasons why medicines for bloating and stomach don't help. In this case, a visit to a psychologist could be just what you need. A good therapist will help you determine the causes of your anxiety and give you professional advice on how to combat it, like setting aside time in your daily routine to relax a bit more. It doesn't matter what it is, a bubble bath or a couple of episodes of your favorite TV show. Just put your mind at ease and let loose. Number 6. Difficulty focusing It's completely normal for problems with concentration to come and go. But if you're noticing that you've developed a really short attention span, one of the possible reasons for it could be constant stress. It's been proven that people who have been under stress for long periods of time find it hard to focus on tasks. This happens because of nervous tension. So whenever you become less focused than what's normal for you, it's a sign to slow down, chill out, and have a rest. If you desperately need to get something done but you just can't focus, try distancing yourself from any distractions. Most importantly, turn off your phone or put it on airplane mode. You can also try to alternate between working and taking a break. Just be sure to set a timer so you won't lose track of time. 
Number five, hair loss. Scientists have come to the conclusion that stress can make you partially or even completely bald. You see, hair has a programmed life cycle consisting of three phases, a growth phase, a rest phase, and a shedding phase. When you experience constant stress or anxiety, it shocks your hair cycle, leading to hair loss. If you've noticed that your hair is falling out more than before and taking recommended vitamins isn't doing the trick, it's most likely the result of stress. So stop being a worry wart if you want to keep your luscious locks. We know what you're thinking, easier said than done. But it really is important to take at least some small steps towards a worry-free life. Your hair can even make a triumphant comeback if you reduce your anxiety. Number four, headaches. Headaches can be a result of many things. Bone disease, a bad sleeping position, low or high blood pressure, sinus infection, pregnancy, and the list just goes on and on. But sometimes headaches are caused by emotional stress that you're experiencing at school, work, or home. When you're anxious, your body releases certain chemicals that can dilate or restrict your blood vessels, and this fluctuation leads to a headache. Taking pills for stress-induced headaches is just slapping a band-aid on a deeper issue. They'll just keep coming back, and if you're not careful, they'll turn into full-blown migraines. If you want to get to the root of the problem, find ways to reduce your stress levels and pay close attention to your emotional state. By the way, if you want to know even more about headaches and other signs that your body's in desperate need of a break, check out this video. It's always good to know when to draw the line, right? But back to more icky effects of stress. Number three, low libido. After a lot of study on the subject, scientists warn us that emotionally drained people that are burnt out because of stress usually have a lower libido. They go on to explain that this happens because in times of stress, your body releases adrenaline and cortisol. Remember those? This interferes with your hormone levels and can kill your sex drive. So if you haven't had intercourse with your partner for what feels like ages, don't get mad or upset because this will only exacerbate the problem by creating more stress. A great thing to do would be to go on a romantic vacation, relax and spend some quality time together in a new and exciting environment. We're sure everything else will follow. Wink, wink. Number two, problem sleeping. It's hard to fall asleep when you're dealing with major anxiety, right? It's probably common sense that stressful situations can cause serious problems with falling asleep. You might even suffer from insomnia if you've been under a lot of stress for a long time. This is a really difficult situation because a person obviously can't enjoy life or function normally without good sleep. It helps both our brains and our bodies relax and recharge. So instead of reaching for the sleeping pills, make a call to see your doctor. It's crucial that you find the root cause of your sleep problems and eliminate them as soon as possible. Because, in this case, if you don't snooze, you lose. Number one, cardiovascular diseases. Our hearts go through a lot during our lives, both good things and bad. Well, obviously, stress belongs to the latter group because it definitely has a negative impact on the heart. Scientists know that chronic stress overworks the arteries, which, in turn, leads to cardiovascular diseases. Things like working too hard, or vice versa, being without work, living in poverty, and having personal problems in the family only make the situation worse. That's why when it comes to cardiovascular diseases and a stressful lifestyle, taking medication isn't enough. Your emotional state also could use some remedy. What's your advice on how to relieve stress? Tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to do your precious body some good by hitting that like button and share this video with your friends so that they can help themselves out too. Subscribe to our channel to see more informative and fun videos and always stay on the bright side of life with us. Be happy, be healthy, and we'll see you soon.